Hey guys, so today I have another haul. So let's go ahead and get started. This is collective over about um, a week and a half. So um, I kind of been feeling a little down in the dumps. So I've been buying polish because that is my therapy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let me grab a wheel here. First off, let me tell you what's on my nails. It's going to be different dimension. Um, oh, what's the name of it? Uh, well, I don't remember, <laughs> but um, it's a very vibrant bright blue. Um, and there is a shimmer in there. Um, think of China Glaze Blue Sparrow, similar. Uh, but this is two coats. It does dry to a semi-matte. Uh, but yeah, for the month of September, I am desperately trying to wear only blue polishes. Thank you to, um, I believe I'll leave her down below. I think her Instagram is TD Nail Art. So I will leave her listed down below. This is her fault for the blue polishes for the month of September. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started into this haul. And speaking of blue, this first one is a blue. And this is from Blue Eye Girl Lacquer. She had um, a promotion going on. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I participated. And I got some mystery polishes. So the next couple are going to have weird names because they're prototypes. But this one here is called Sorted End. And apparently this was a fan favorite of 2016 and it's a beautiful light blue with a ugh, the the shimmer isn't coming up on camera how electric it is but it's gorgeous here it is in the bottle or i should say on the brush all right and now let's go ahead and give her a swatch Oops. lighting is a little off today and I don't really know why. Hang on, I'm going to try and move a little bit here. Okay, so let's see if moving down helped at all. But there is one coat of Blue Eye Girl Lacquer Sorted End. Next one up is one of those weird named ones because it's a proto. So it's QLRZ01. And this is a spring colored green i i think it's a spring green um and it's got this beautiful pink shimmer in it and again it's not really you're not really seeing the shimmer as great as it is um but it, it's really pretty i mean look at you could see the shimmer right there but sadly it's not coming up as bright as it actually is over the camera but there it is on the brush Okay, and here is one coat on the wheel. I was debating even doing this haul since these are prototypes and they may not be available. Um, I will leave the names of them still down below. Um, it's possible if you can email her if you really like them, it's possibility she may have them because she did send me a red and it is coming up and it's this one here and i actually had to decant it into an empty sinful colors container or bottle rather because i got the bottle and it was broken and she had told me not even to worry about decanting it she didn't want me to get cut but it was too beautiful not to salvage some so um i emailed her about that and she asked if I wanted the same one or if I preferred a different one. Of course, because I was going to try and decant and save some, I told her a different one would be fine. So she sent me this one, which will be the next one swatched. Um, I, and she did say that she does believe she had another one in her, in her tray there. So it is possible that if you email her with the number, you may be able to purchase it from her. So I will leave those down below anyway. This next one up 
apparently came from the Magic 8 box, May 2016, and it's called Wash Away What's Past. Um, and this is kind of like a taupey. Um, it's got like a pink, the shimmer in there, and you can't see it, but yeah, I mean, you can see the shimmer, but you can't see what I'm seeing is it's almost like a pink to orange shimmer. And then there's some scattered hollow in there. So there it is on the brush. And you know, I really wish our cameras captured exactly what we see because some of these are really spectacular and you know, our cameras just, they're only, they're never going to be as good as our eyes. So these are really nice formulas. Really, they go on nice and smooth. This one here is the one that she sent me as a replacement, which will be great for the fall. So this is ORMG1. And this is like a cranberry colored base with a lot of gold shimmer. Um, looks like there's some red glitters in there and some gold or copper toned glitters and it is in like a jelly base so there it is on the brush this one you'll need a top coat for it's going to dry down a little bumpy because of those glitters it's very opaque on the first coat you got good placement of the glitters they're not hard to move around manipulate whatever word you want to use it was very pretty i could see this one upstaging a bunch of my um like ruby pump type polishes okay so again this one here is orh2 and it, never mind the bottle i had to decant it but it is a very almost similar toned red almost um and this looks like it has scattered hollow i didn't notice it in her bottle but in this bottle it looks like it has scattered hollow so that makes it very pretty and makes me very happy that i did decide to save some of it and there it is on the brush this too i believe is going to need a, a top coat because it's going to dry down a little textured not purposely textured but because of the the shimmers in there and here is one coat on the nail so you could see how very close the base with the last one is okay so this next one is just a mini and i had to have it it looks so pretty this one is called going way down south and this is like a green, kind of like a green jelly with a beautiful blue shimmer in it. It's kind of like a blue to pink shimmer. This one's kind of sheer though. You need three coats. I'm only going to do two because I don't want to waste this beauty. So here is one coat of Going Way Down South. And for some reason, I think this is a thermal. I'm not sure, though. Because it seemed like after I swatched it the first time, it went, it dried down a different color, like lighter. I'm not sure. But we'll get to see that together. Next, I got from a D stash. This is a Schlee polish. I'm on a kick with Schlee polish. I want to get all of them. Not all of them, but she has some amazing shimmers. This one is called Little Paradise. And of course, this is a blue with a pink shimmer. My lord, how many blues with pink shimmers can one person own? I don't know, but we'll find out because I just have an affliction for them. So here it is on the brush. This is a great formula. Okay, and here is one coat on the nail. I mean, look at that, guys. How beautiful is that? I mean, pink shimmer, please. 
This next one is a lone julep polish and I have to thank Kenny Nicole for this because she wore this in a mani and I had to have it. Although it looked a lot more blue in her picture and I adored it more in her photo than I do in real life, but it's still beautiful. I, I don't have a color like this. So uh, yeah, I'm happy anyway, but this is Marion. And apparently this was released in 2013. I had to buy this off of eBay. So I don't know. It, it's not available on the julep site. I was going to order it to come with my Maven box. But so here it is. Beautiful teal. Um, it does lean a little bit more blue. So that's probably why her photo showed it to be a little more blue. But it's got these beautiful silver shimmer glass flecks in it. Very opaque. Very opaque. So here's one coat of Marion. I don't know if it's a stainer. I want to kind of say it very well could be. Because of the color it is. Next up, guys, is the only china glaze that I'm buying from the Halloween collection. <laughs> and this is Cinderella. This polish is like a taupey gray with a <laughs> electric pink shimmer. And this shimmer goes to gold. You can see it on the side here. That's a gold. And then the pink. This polish holy shit look at that on the brush and look at that inside the bottle like i want to dive into this because it's so freaking beautiful okay so here is one coat of cinderella And for the way it looks, it's pretty opaque on its first coat. I mean, obviously you need a second, but still. I will be right back. Need to check on Little Pony here. Okay, so this is one of the newer Sinful Colors. Um, I only got two out of the collection. This one is called Guilty Pleasure. And it's a foil, like um, a deeper rose gold foil. I'm not even sure why I bought this one because I don't like metallics all that much. But this is a pretty color. I thought it'd be good for fall. And there it is on the brush. So it does have a good formula. So here is one coat of Guilty Pleasure. It does, however, need two coats to be opaque. So I'm not 100% sure that this would be a really good opaque stamping polish. Most metallics are. Um, so I don't think that one will be. Oh, these are from the Sinful Shine line. Um, this one here is called Emmy Lou Blue. And this is just a deep, dark, shimmery, sparkly purple. Uh, you can see all those shimmers in there. I'm sorry, it's not purple, it's blue. There it is on the brush. This is very similar in color to Simple Colors Chow Bella, except this one has more pronounced sparkles. So here is one coat of Emmy Lou Blue. Okay. And last one up is a polish I got from one of our department stores here. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Boscov's. But this is where I've got, gotten this from. Um, just taking the sticker off of trying to. This one, it, the brand is, I don't know if it's Radishes and Roses or Radishes Roses. Whatever. Again, I, I must be feeling like a metallic type vibe. This one is called Hashtag Vacay. And it needs to have the Y because that's how you spell Vacay. But whatever. It's a Boscoff's department store. Um, doesn't say anything on it as to who makes it. Like, it kind of makes me think of Color Club, though, and Fresh Paint. 
because it's the same bottle and the, the writing kind of looks the same so I don't know maybe color club makes these so this is kind of like a duochrome copper to gold This one was actually pretty sheer. I did need three coats when I swatched it um, when I bought it. But it's very sparkling out of here. I gotta go because she's being fussy. Okay, so that was one coat of that. So give me a couple minutes, guys, and I'll be back after the second coat. And um, we'll talk about them. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and put the second coat. I do have to kind of make this quick because she's being fussy. She just woke up from a nap and she wants to eat. So here is Blue Eyed Girls Sorted End. And here it just looks straight blue. But on the nail, it's kind of like a periwinkle with the blue shimmer. Here is Q L R. 201 and it's a springtime green with a beautiful pink shimmer it does dry both of these dry kind of semi matte so you will need a nice top coat to bring out all of that beautiful shimmer next we have wash away what's past and this is that beautiful taupey color with the pink to gold shimmer that you're not seeing here but it's there Next, I have ORMG1. The base is a little bit heavy that you can't see what color those glitters are. Um, but you could still see the gold shimmer glass flecks through there. And they'll probably stand out a little bit better with top coat. Next was the broken bottle of ORH2, I believe. Um, and this is kind of the same base with some scattered hollow and there's another type of shimmer in there and I can't really tell gold silver here is going way down south this is two thick coats it has a beautiful blue shimmer there uh, kind of gives it a duochromy effect here is Schlee polish little paradise again another beautiful blue with that pink shimmer here is juleps Marion and I bet this would look splendid with a matte top coat. Then we have the oh so beautiful, and I wish it was showing up as beautiful on camera. This pink shimmer is glowing. Like it's <sighs> red shimmer, pink shimmer. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. Um, so this is China Glaze's Cinderella. Then we have Sinful Colors, Guilty Pleasure which is that rose gold metallic, very pretty. Then we have sinful colors, sinful shines, Emmy Lou blue, very sparkly, a very deep blue, very shiny too, without a top coat. None of this has top coat. And last I have that radishes, roses, radishes and roses, whatever. Um, hashtag vacay. This could use another coat. You can kind of see my nail my hand underneath there but it's got a beautiful copper kind of duochrome to it okay so that is everything guys I'm gonna go now I have to feed her let me know what your favorite was down below and why and I'll see you again next time bye